Hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. All that good stuff, drop a like, comment, you know, you know the deal. So welcome to a video where I'm gonna show you, <clears throat> I got some boxes that came in, so I'm gonna show you a few things that were sent out to me that I said yes to, that I'll check them out. I think they're kind of interesting. And maybe you wanna grab them for the holidays, Christmas, Maybe you're looking for a gift idea. Maybe I can help you with that. So I'm gonna show you what came in in these boxes. And then I'm gonna show you a few things that I picked up, you know, going to the Home Depot and, and Lowe's and stuff that are, I think are really neat, uh, could be helpful, might not be something that you think to buy uh, for yourself. That happens to me all the time, but sometimes, you know, I go out there and it ends up being, you know, one of the most helpful useful tools something that becomes one of my favorites and it's just something that i never you know thought to to get myself and i picked it up and i loved it so i'll share those too uh, like i said some stuff that i bought or, uh, recently some stuff that i've had in my bag for a while that i can't be without and uh, hopefully it helps you guys uh, but before the video starts please uh, if you're looking for merch uh, the tools that i use uh, discounts, different links to, to different things, check out reliablehvacr.net. You'll see uh, it broken down to, you know, the tool link, the merch link. Check out our other channels, HVAC Nights. Grab you a nice shirt, a hoodie, and just stay up to date. So if you go, go check that out, reliablehvacr.net, and grab yourself or check out what we have to offer. All right, so let's start by going into this box that I got here. Lent this out to somebody who was remodeling here at the house and look at how they gave it back to me. Jesus. All right. <clears throat> so the first thing we have is the Atmo tube. This is uh, air quality. So if you guys are in my line of work, and you do HVAC, air quality is important. So this is gonna be from Atmo Tube, I believe. This is a pro uh, air quality air quality monitor, there you go. So there's no screen on it. I'm assuming you need to pair it to your phone. Uh, yeah, App Store, Google Play. So we're gonna have to download so you can get the visual there. All right, so I have that downloading. There is an indicator on there so it'll tell you good to severe severely polluted all right so i downloaded the app real quick it is giving me a rating already air is good we're in the blue it's going to give you a range there all right so i've been messing around with it, it takes three minutes to warm up and then uh, measures air quality every few seconds while it's on so if you guys are into air quality you want to go into residential homes and, and kind of check that out. Um, this is the Atmo Tube Pro. I will leave a link for that in the description and it kind of shows you a nice little graph. If it's, if it's in danger, it's polluted, you go outside, you can check um, as well. Like right now they're doing bonfires and stuff like that. You can go out there and kind of uh, see that. It does give you temperature and humidity and it shows you what's comfort, what's, what's comfort uh, the comfort zone if it's too hot, too dry, too cold, or too humid. So check that out. <clears throat> I thought that was kind of neat. Now another company sent out a laser laser meter, basically. Comes in a nice little case, hard shell. Comes with a USB-C charger. And here is our device. It's like a little uh, Zoom. You guys are as old as I am. Okay. <clears throat> nice little display. It's black with white uh, numbers. And then, I don't know, can we measure? So it's going to measure both ways. And it's going to give you the distance right here. You can change it to only the top to measure, or the bottom to measure, or both. You got all sorts of settings in there. So I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. I uh, might use it for around the house and stuff. Well, definitely in work environments too when i'm measuring an area like a walk-in box uh, you can use this to measure rooms in the houses stuff like that that's kind of why i kind of i wanted to try it out see how it worked and uh yeah this is a nice little 
uh, distance laser, laser meter and it's all digital. And another thing that Sigmund sent over, didn't expect it to be this big, is their laser level. So if you guys need a level, this is a good option as well. It's all the case, uh, different little things they have in there. I can have the foam that's cut out. This is the unit itself. <coughs> Compact, pretty, you know, good. Turn it on. Oh shit. So yeah, if you guys need to get a laser level, this one is multi-directional. You got the, the units or the lasers here and here and here. Different points of contact to get your levels how you need them. Uh, they give you an extra battery pack. The two different threads at the bottom if you guys are going to use a tripod. And they give you this contraption if you need to mount this. And then you can roll it up and down. So pretty neat. Another you know, little thing that you might want for some projects, you know, lining up stuff. Another household item I might use, right, to hang stuff. Um, we can also use this to level out uh, doors, your pipes, you know, different things out in the HVAC field. Or you can use it at home, uh, hanging up stuff around the house, little uh, DIY projects that you might have. Nice little laser level there. And something that also was sent out to me recently, I had done a video on it a while back, but uh, this is a PowerMax 300 by Oscal. It's also off Amazon. And I use this to charge up like flashlights, uh, batteries for my tools, uh, like for my Milwaukee and my Makita batteries. <clears throat> Added this little dollar uh, splitter on the side. That way I can charge up multiple things at once. And it's been really handy. I just keep it in the van. It does its thing. It juices up everything I need because everything I have now is rechargeable. So there's also that. And then, like I said, I went to Lowe's and uh, bought a few things and this is actually something that I already had but I don't remember how but I broke it and I really loved it so this is a uh, Klein Tools dual IR and probe thermometer <clears throat> so it's the IR07 I believe not much to it it does come with a case too forgot about that so it takes batteries and you get this little carrying case with it if you guys want to protect it but i don't use that so it does require two AAA batteries but they last a super long time i've never had to change them out i'm still using the other one that i have but i broke the uh the probe on it basically nice little thermometer for you know the line of work that i do I don't trust it 100% unless I go and put a thermometer to the vent. But if I'm checking ACs and I want to know if that vent is throwing cold air or if it's not working, what vent goes to what system, um, there is an infrared <clears throat> if you hold it there and it gives you the temperature. So you got the little uh, laser indicator and it gives you the temperature. Now the cool thing about this is I also do refrigeration, right? So I'm also checking equipment like a fridge or, or something like that or something where I have to stick a thermometer in. Also, you can check duct work too. I mean, there's that too. And once you pull this out, it changes to the probe uh, reading and you're reading just the probe there. And then you can hold it if you need to, um, show the customer, whatever. And that's a good way to show uh, that you repaired something is you go on, go in there Get a reading, hold it, go show the customer, hey, it's already at like 35 degrees, whatever it is that you're working on. If you're working on an AC, um, you, you don't want to get on a ladder when you're leaving. Uh, show them that it's cooling, right? It'll be like 60, 55, whatever it is coming out of that vent. And it's a good indicator for you. It's kind of, it helps you in, in troubleshooting and figuring things out. I'm not going to go by this 100% unless I actually stick a probe up in the vent and get my reading that way, but, and then get my split and everything. But uh, this is really good, like, like I said, troubleshooting, kind of figuring out things. And then as you're leaving, trying to get that work order signed out, um, collect payment and all that, you can actually prove to the customer that it was working just by pointing out the vents. 
I, like you got cold air, we're good to go. I also picked up this because uh, Klein has been coming out with a whole bunch of new uh, flip sockets. This one was either returned or attempted at getting stolen. I have that. I see that all the time. So I was like, whatever, I'll buy it. It was a lost one. So these have been hard to find. Um, any of these flip sockets are a good buy. If you guys are uh, looking for ways to lighten the load in the in the bag, the tool bag. And uh, this, this one I do not have. This is why I bought it. Because now they go, I have the other one, which I actually have here on this one. So basically on the original one, you can go from quarter to 5 16, 11 30 seconds, 3 8 uh, 7 16 and half inch, right? Most common sizes that I use in my line of work. And then uh, every now and then I might need a bigger size. So this one is a lot bigger because they're going to fit that bottom um, flip socket there. You get the same up here, up to 3 8 7 16 and half inch, but then it changes. They remove the 11 30 second, which is not a big deal. I still use 11 30 seconds and I have used this bit um, a few times out there not often but I do use it um, because most times I need a hollow 11 30 seconds nut driver because on motors and things that we use it we use that size um, there's going to be like a bolt sticking out so you, you might need a hollow screwdriver so I always carry one of those in there so having the bit is nice but it's not necessary so on this one they don't have that it goes up to, like I said, half inch. Instead of the 11 30 seconds, you get the 9 16. And then this extra one is going to be 5 eighths, five eighths and 3 quarters. So, really awesome um, system that they have. And now that you can get them in different sizes to suit your needs, um, every now and then, you might need a 3 quarters. Whatever it is, it's just more options. And then they've been improving it because that little quarter inch there is now even slimmer than the old version they shaved it down a tad bit helps with uh, getting into tight spaces that's something that Malco was doing too because I had the Malco bits before this but I'm all into Klein right now and then this has all this that you can throw on your uh, impact use it however you want this is a little extension as well if you want to take off all of the bits right and you got to get into a tight spot that's your extension I don't carry my drill all the time but if I need it it's in my bag this uh, setup because you can put it on a Klein screwdriver this is specifically the 14 and 1 HVAC that has the bits inside I've already lost one but these also go on the end there very versatile versatile and uh, put the bits away and I like to I like to carry this because it's this one thing is going to be in my bag has all the nut drivers I need and bits that I need I might not use it with the handle uh, most of the time every now and then I might but I can throw this on a impact drill or electric screwdriver I like to use those too this is just an easy way to carry a whole bunch of sizes that I need so we're going to switch to this one. And I just wanted to show a few things from Tough Built have been really cool. This is my primary knife now in my uh, tool bag. I was using these Milwaukee ones like this. You know, they clip onto the bag. Cool to have. This one is, it's big. It, it goes in there. It takes up a little bit of space. But it's really cool. It's by Tough Built. You can uh, get a box cut cutter out of it. Very sharp, very good slice through everything and then I do need to scrape things off where I've used a box cutter knife before but this one turns into an actual scraper right so then you can actually scrape insulation um, I don't know whatever it is that you guys are trying to clean around maybe some motors have a uh, anti-seize or, or silicone on them and you want to scrape that off you can do that with this and then uh, put it away in your bag and it's a two for one so I love multi-tools if you can't tell. And another cool thing that I needed from uh, Tough Belt right now, I'll show you why, is precision screwdrivers. These are super nice. Uh, the issue I have with most 
precision screwdrivers is that they're never thin enough. This one is super thin. So let me, uh, let me show you the difference real quick. Okay, see so the thing is we're going to electronic whether you like it or not, and this is going to be for HVAC, residential, commercial, refrigeration, whatever it is. Um, you're gonna have to have some sort of precision screwdrivers. So these are the common ones that I've had. Um, and the Klein ones, are, there's insulated ones, there's some that are uh, not gonna be this thick, but they're probably gonna be around this thick. So like for something like this, on this kind of board, it's not an issue. Uh, you can get away with a lot of these for thermostats or uh, these boards. But wh like what I deal with is these uh, electronic controllers. So obviously this will not fit because of that shaft there. Even these that are pretty common that we get, I can't turn it because it gets stuck in that hole there. Same thing with this one. I can't even turn it in there. So a lot of, I tried a lot of different screwdrivers. I was having issues getting into these. And then I saw these uh, tough built ones, right? So let us pick one of the middle ones. We can go in here and tighten and loosen any of these. So I, I do think a good set of uh, thin profile precision screws, uh, screwdrivers are really handy to have for electronic components. And this is a nice set, nice little fold over case. And this is very easy to store in the van, get it when you need it. I wouldn't carry it, you know, everywhere with me. I normally can get away with this, like I said, for thermostats and boards like that. But every now and then I got to get into a tight space and, uh, you know, get to screws like this. All right, now for some uh, cool things that I've been using for a while and I've tried a few, I've had some that suck, but uh, bit holders. I carry some of the bits in my bags, right? But some of the odd stuff, I use these little bit holders. This is like an emergency, whatever, multi-use fitting uh, socket. So I have that there. I have a, uh, an adapter for my, for my uh, impact where I can put sockets on my impact. I keep the adapter here, so I always have it there on the outside of the bag. When I'm taking off compressors, loosening things that I need those uh, sockets for. And then I have this that cleans up. Um, <clears throat> it's like a wire brush. It's also for my impact. Too big to carry in the bag and I don't want it to screw up anything that I have in there because that will that will eat up and scratch up a lot of stuff in my bag. So I keep it outside and that's where these bit holders uh, come into play. I've also had um, some of those like Klein um, short bits, flip bits on here. I just don't have it on right now for some reason, but uh, these have been really good. These actually lock into place. Um, just kind of double check that they are locked and these have been good. I've tried other ones that break on me, but these have worked. These are in my tool link. So uh, bit holder is definitely really cool. And if you want to carry it on your keychain and carry like a bit um, on you at all times, you can do that too. I just clip it onto the backpack that I have. And I just want to talk about lights really quick. So this has been one of my favorites and it goes into the bag really easily. It is magnetic um, and it's a flip or switch blade light. So you got different uh, modes. You can kind of put it on a unit, have it shine down. That's the small side. There's different brightness levels. And then you got the uh, end over here for a spotlight, traditional flashlight. And then you got the, the longer side for um, the one that I use the most. And I kind of just leave it there. You can fold it up and then kind of stick it somewhere and it'll shine down. Um, so this has been my favorite flashlight. It's rechargeable uh, via USB-C on the side there. And it fits in the bag really nice. Uh, very cool light. It'll last a long time too and I use it daily. Now as far as headlights, I do have some traditional or like, I guess, you know, whatever kind of headlights. I got a headlamp here that's LED. It wraps around, it's really nice. It even has like a, has, different, has a spotlight too. Um, it has that motion control. So if you wanna put this on and then it, it's on, 
there's a little button to activate motion control and you can uh, kind of turn it on without actually physically touching it, right? So that's a cool one. I don't use it as much as I would want to. If I need to light up a big area because it's a wide LED, um, it's really good for that, like attics and stuff like that. But my favorite flashlight has been uh, this one that I keep on my keychain. So this is a Nightcore, this is called the Tip SE. Uh, super compact, you have a power button. It is super bright and you got a low, medium and high. Lasts a long time, it's also rechargeable uh, via USB-C, just plug it into the side there. But my favorite thing is this thing has a clip. So this is actually my second one because I thought I lost the other one. And when I'm working on something in a dark area and I need a spotlight, this little clip goes onto your hat, which we all probably are wearing, turn it on, and now I have a headlamp that was just on my keychain. So I keep this on my keys at all times and I don't, I don't have to remember to go get one of my headlamps or even take up real estate in my bag because I have a flashlight that I can, it's a handheld, but it's also a headlamp and it works really well. Now this one I wanna say is like three to 500 lumens. For the maximum, you wanna hold down that brightness setting. And now it is at its max brightness. Of course, it's not gonna last as long. It's probably only gonna last like 10 minutes or something, um, but that's a max, right? You turn it off, turn it back on, it goes back to its regular last setting you have if you want it brighter you hold that, that little menu button and that's going to give you the max uh, brightness so there's the three levels and then the max brightness level which if you're out in the dark it, this lights up really well all right and what is uh one of my favorite tools it's a small super affordable uh ratchet it's a klein electrician's ratchet and what's cool about this is you have a 516 and a quarter inch already built in. And then you have this thumb ratchet where you can get into a tight spot. This has saved me so much, so many times already. Uh, just being able to take out little screws like that. And if you don't have enough room to kind of get leverage, you can also just tighten the screw like that and then kind of crank it down. Um, and then it being quarter inch on one side, it takes bits, right? So you can get those uh, fill ups or flats or whatever you need. So that's really handy. And then uh, if you need to really get in there, this takes quarter inch bits like you saw. So it also takes these impact um, bits and you can put sockets on there. So let's say you need to grab one from one of these uh, bigger sizes. I mean, the cool thing is if you get all the Klein uh, bits, they all work together. So then. Let's say you need to take off a three quarters um, bolt or something, and you kind of need that, that leverage here. I mean, it's not huge, but it is pretty good leverage, you know, versus trying to unscrew it with a screwdriver or a nut driver. And you can get that and get those bolts off or nuts off. So that's a highly recommended tool that I always carry with me. I have a couple of these already, and uh, they work well with these Klein uh, flip sockets and bits. So that's the uh, Klein Electrician's Ratchet um, 65200 in case you guys want to look for that. That's one that I always highly recommend and it makes a um, you know great gift as well. Also if you guys go to Lowe's and just check out the, uh, the section there of the Klein, um, a lot of this stuff they sell together now. So if you get, because this is a 14-in-1 uh, handle that came with um, just a 516 and quarter inch on a long um, impact rated um, shaft like this, but it was a, the longer version. Um, you can now buy the uh, socket sets where it's like already in a package. So you can buy a set if you go to Lowe's that already has the flip socket with this handle with all the bits. And then if you want to get a stubby and get the, uh, the shorter bit, you can now before you have to buy them separate. So 
Also just go to Lowe's and look at the client section. Um, they've been really good about doing the whole packages where you get to the, instead of going to buy everything separate and trying to make your own like super screwdriver, you can now buy it in a pack. And then you can also get this with the stubby or uh, some screwdrivers included with the electrician's ratchet. This is one that they also uh, sell in a pack now. So just go to Lowe's, check out the bundles. A lot of them are like cheaper when you buy them in bundles to where it's like under 40 bucks, 30 bucks, $29. And you get like a few screwdrivers, um, the flip sockets included, tools like this. So just check out Lowe's. All right, so I was waiting for a package to come in. It's a few days later. Um, let me go ahead and show you some honorable mentions first. This is the uh, infra infrared thermal imager. This little guy goes in my uh, everyday bag. Uh, just be sure you don't lose it. If you do get one of these, it is a small, um, tiny guy. And, uh, you know, you can use this to check uh, around the house. So this is another homeowner special if you guys want to... Um, if you just want this for your house, if you're in the trades, it's good to find like water leaks, um, AC, um, infiltration, heat spots, cold spots, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, thermal imager, you just need to plug it into your phone. This is a lightning because I have an older iPhone. They did switch over to USB-C recently. So they do have a USB-C version that you can use on, uh, I'm assuming the new iPhones and then all your uh, Android and other devices. So they got you covered. Uh, the lightning one. Uh, is the one that I have, like I said, so I plug it into my phone. So essentially, I always have my phone with me. I always have this in my bag, and I can do quick checks if I suspect a door, like on a walk-in, is leaking or, you know, we got a lot of heat coming in, uh, heat infiltration. That's what we can use this for. Any thermal imager you look for, whether it's a big one, a smaller one, they're going to be in that $299 range. So you're basically going to be spending 300 bucks. Usually they have coupons, so check the... Check my tool link. Um, I usually have these in there and I have different variations of it. If you want a standalone one with its own screen and everything, we have those too. But I just really like that one because you can, it's small. Like I said, don't lose it, but it can go in your bag and you can always have it with you. Uh, this was just sent out to me because I'm supposed to do like a TikTok uh, video on it. But this is the uh, Top Test Combustible Gas Leak Detector. So this little pen thing, I love compact. Uh, tools and uh, being able to carry them with me at all times so that to make extra trips to the van so if you guys deal with a lot of gas another homeowner special here if you guys want to use this around the house if you guys have gas appliances uh, you want to make sure nothing's leaking uh, the gas lines basically to everything and if you guys are in the HVAC trade so this this is a good uh, pickup if you're in HVAC or if you're looking for a gift for uh, HVAC tech because a lot of our new equipment is coming to or it's, it's transitioning to like a propane based refrigerants where we have R290 and other things and they're all these uh, flammable refrigerants. This thing's gonna pick it up. I've even seen people pick up other refrigerants with it, but I haven't tested it too much to check like, uh, like older refrigerants, but it has picked up like uh, 134 and a few others. This can uh, help me out when people ask me to check equipment that's fairly new, right? It's under warranty and I don't want to be there disassembling everything because essentially I have to get approval from, or I have to go, go through warranty to get all that stuff. So then the ones that we work on are notorious for leaking in the EVAP. So I can go in there and sweep through with this and it's it helped me plenty of times to just go off and kind of show me where, more or less where it is. And then if you need to go further, you use your uh, bubbles and stuff to kind of pinpoint, but it's a good way to just kind of make sure, like, is it leaking, you know, here or there? I usually check the EVAP first. This thing goes off, and then I tell them, you know, it's under warranty. We're going to have to, you know, get that going for you, set that up, and get and get a, a new EVAP out and um, do all that, you know, after the fact. And uh, this has been really cool. So nice little pen combustible gas leak detector. Great gift, great pickup. And... Uh, honorable mention there but what i was waiting for was this little thing um it's actually really cool this guy's this little compact thing that you can easily just carry in your hand take with you maybe you can clip it to yourself it does come with a strap if you guys want to carry it that, that way uh this is basically a stool i don't know if you guys have seen this 
It's about 17 inches, I believe. I do think they, they sell different uh, variations of it. They have them in, in different colors. If you guys want to match your uh, uniforms and stuff, I just went with the, the simple black. But you have this on and off thing where you put your uh, fingers in and you kind of twist. It's very subtle. It's like a little click. And you can collapse it. You can also adjust to different heights and you'll be good. Like I said, you can extend it all the way. Really cool if you're going to be in front of a unit for a while. Um, right now, or if you're in, if you're in front of a, a rooftop unit, you might be there trying to rewire some stuff or trying to figure out something and you want to take a seat. Um, I know buckets are a common thing that we take up there and we might sit on. I don't know how you guys do it. I've already cracked one. I guess I'm a little heavy and uh, this I feel like is a lot more sturdy. So I would trust this. I think it had like a 250 or or more uh, weight limit. I'm pretty sure it was very high. I'll leave it on the screen, the height and the weight limit because I was actually impressed um, and it, it'll hold me up. So I thought that was really cool. Perfect. If you guys are looking to splurge this holiday season or if you're looking for a gift for somebody, these are really cool. A lot of these you can get off Amazon. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Some little ideas. Like I said, if you're looking for gifts for a trade person, uh, Christmas, birthdays, whatever it may be, or if you're somebody in the trades, uh, a DIY person, a homeowner, and you found any of these useful, you can buy yourself um, some nice tools and accessories that you may not have thought of, you know, that they're, that that's out there. I kind of just browse around sometimes you find these uh little hidden gems here and there and then a lot of this stuff i personally use quite often and i'm going to get a lot of use out of that stool i love the thermal imager the gas leak detector and all the tools that i talked about earlier like i said if you go to lowe's check out all that klein section because they're going to have a lot of packs and they're all going to be like under 30 40 bucks find um different things to put together because like i said you can use a lot of those flip sockets with your different client handles and I've made videos on that stuff and now you can just buy them in packs. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys.